it is Lance Away, just here to share my 2018 Trek Crockett 5 AL and just share what updates I've made to it so you guys can follow along. This is uh, my gravel rig setup and uh, we'll just start with uh, some of the updates to the drivetrain. We did do the Easton EC90SL and I've got the Easton bottom bracket as well. It does have a 30 millimeter spindle so uh, that was a challenge to get something but uh, Easton makes their own branded uh, bottom bracket. It spins really nicely, it's smooth and this crank set is uh, super lightweight relative to the uh, SRAM rival one that this came uh, stocked with. So I do have the uh, KMC uh, 11 speed SL chain and it works flawlessly with this drivetrain. So on the back, it didn't have the XT driver so I couldn't go with the SRAM, but it does have a, uh, an XT cassette on it now. We've got the uh, 1042, the ultimate gear for uh, doing almost anything with this bike in a gravel setup. I did have to get a rival long cage on the back to run that big cassette a big dinner plate as you can see it is almost as big or actually probably bigger than the rotor itself um running uh xt pedals with it and maybe someday i will uh, pursue getting a titanium upgrade there for bottle cages i'm working with uh tax these are carbon and fiberglass 29 grams for 15 dollars each not a bad uh choice as far as a lower weight and uh, really good performing. This bottle gauge is pretty darn snug. So I think they'll work in a gravel capacity. As you can see, I'm forcing it in there, but super snug. And then uh, working with my uh, Lenzine Sport HP uh, pump. Nice mini pump there. For tires, I'm going to run uh, Pan Racer Gravel SKs. These are uh, tubeless compatible. So uh, that will be my very next upgrade is to, uh, to put some rim tape in there and new valves, throw in some orange sealant and get these things running tubeless. Okay, let's move on to the seat post. Got the uh, Easton EC70 seat post and I'm running the stock saddle right now, this Montrose Comp. Uh, seems to do well. Um, it's got a fair amount of cushioning in it. It's not, uh, it's just kind of the bone stock model. So there's a decent amount of cushioning. It's a little heavy for me, but um, someday we'll upgrade that. Let's, uh, let's get a look at these bars, actually. Okay, and for the bars, we went with Easton EC70AX. These are their, uh, flare bars and I believe they have a 16 degree flare As you can see it gets pretty wide in the drops but not overly wide to where you'll uh, you'll be snagging stuff if you're running a tight single track uh, but just to give you a little bit more control in the drops and I did couple that with the physique endurance tape tape ended up uh, working out nicely and it's got a fair amount of tack to it so I believe in some uh, you know, unforeseen conditions, it'll still remain uh, really easy to grip. Stock shifters on there, the rival SRAMs. Hopefully those will run nice and well. Computer running the uh, Garmin. I think this is a 520 and uh, works pretty well. Um, and I've also got a quad lock mount just in case I need to uh, mount my phone on here and just get a little bit more information if I need to stay connected or if I'm just uh, doing a little bit of training I can uh, I can run my music with my airpods and that works out really nicely especially if you can run one airpod you don't need to run both so you can keep an aware awareness of your surroundings um, what else to say I've got uh, this little little lunch box, lunch box sack and I've got my tube here I'll throw in my tool with this as well and a little patch kit um, 
Sometimes I can swap that out if I think uh, any of my bars are gonna get a little too steamy being next to my body. Throw my food in there and then I can throw my, uh, my patch kit in some of my jersey pockets. Um, I don't like to run a saddle bag, but I would if I had to. So if I need a little extra storage, we're going for a longer ride. So I could go taller bottles and then uh, more food in my jersey pockets. Um, let's just uh, see how she shifts. Easton with a 42 tooth uh, absolute black oval. So it's got that nice oval shape to it. Um, I did find it was uh, really nice to climb with. I felt a little bit less pressure on the knees and this is supposed to uh, reduce your dead spot and kind of give you less fatigue and uh, allow you to feel fresher on a ride. So definitely gonna play with the uh, oval for a while. And I don't know, this could even get me to convert uh, my roadie into an oval too, if I have a lot of good fun with this. So we'll see how that rolls. Um, on the rear, liking this uh, XT cassette. Oh, let me get in a place where I can run this and shift. So the cool part about SRAM is you could do multiple jumps and uh, works really well. No problem. Shifting is just like a dream. And I'm holding my iPad and shifting, but this thing just, it's, it's got some flawless shifting right now. I'm, it's dialed in, I love it, and hopefully it stays dialed in, cause, oh my gosh, this is like the drive train dream come true. Uh, multiple gear jumps are just impeccable.